Good afternoon, this is Lawrence from Lakeshore RV. We're gonna do a short orientation video for you on your 2021 Cougar Half Ton 26 RKS. Coming right up here to the front on the cap, you're gonna have the amber LED light strip up on top and then down on the angles here. Nice rock kick guard there plate in the front. We're gonna have installed right behind the propane tanks a marine grade 12 volt battery for you. There's your battery disconnect shut off there. Cougar does come standard with the 30 to 30 pound propane tanks. So those will be installed and filled up for you there prior to pickup. Your lighted and power front tongue. Coming around here to the driver's side. You'll notice right by the front compartment, you do have the running lights. It is prepped for the driver's and passenger side Furion side cameras, as well as the backup. Right up here on the driver's side, you're gonna have your main storage compartment. You're gonna have your 50 amp power cord in here, and we're also gonna add a 50 to a 30 adapter and a 30 to a 15 adapter. Use the 30 to 15 to plug in overnight if you're getting ready to go on a trip to pre-charge or cool your refrigerator. That is a quick snap-in hose for water access right here by the docking station. We'll talk about that in a minute, but that just connects right into here. Right up here in the front of the cab, here's where you're gonna have your, your cap lights there, and then you're gonna have your auto leveling system right there. Just in case you need to, a manual there. But then right inside your door here, you're going to have a quick guide on the operating system for the leveling system. Because you do have the auto leveling system jacks, that was part of the upgrade when we purchased this unit. Right there behind the front driver storage compartment, it is prepped for storage plug-in. So if you do have exterior solar panels, plugs in right there. Your main docking station, you're going to have your hot and cold fresh water port here. This is going to be for your tank flush there. This is your water hookup here. If you are using your city water hookup, you have this blue lever down. If you know you're going to be needing to take water with you, flip that up to the left and that fills your freshwater tank for you. And then when you do go to use your fresh water inside, you're going to need to have your water pump on to create the pressure for you. If you're on city water, the city hose pot water is going to have it pre-pressurized for you. Don't have to run your water pump inside for that. Coming down here to the living room slide, underneath here, you're going to see your main gray-black tank flush valve there for the kitchen bathroom. And it's going to be indicated right here, gray-black tank when that slide is in. Coming around to the back of the driver's side, there is your gray tank port right there for the back kitchen area for your gray water and your 50 amp shoreline plug-in service right here. Right behind that is going to be your hot water quick recovery system. Right there on the bumper you're going to have those plastic caps. Those caps are designed to pull off so you can use that bumper to store your sewer hose. Coming around looking at the back of the unit here, got the ladder going up to the top. Nice barreled ceiling there for improved water runoff. Spare tire right there mounted on the back. Right up there it is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera, but don't forget you got the cameras on the driver's and passenger side too. Your vent for your hood fan. Your vent for your refrigerator, which is gas and electric. And right underneath here, right by the tire, your key TV system. The blue cord is pre-wired up to the ceiling. If you are going to put a satellite unit up there, there's a blue cord already up there. Otherwise, you got your main satellite and capital TV hookup right there in the back. You do have a two-inch hitch for extra trailer towing capacity. And coming around here to the passenger side, nice little stove for the outside kitchen drinks and your nice little pull-out capital grill here. 
with a quick connect propane for down below. And if you do put a table out here underneath the awning, you do have the outside power and cable hookup. And then coming around to the front of the unit on the passenger side, again, there's your passenger side camera prep right there by the running light and another pass-through magnet slam door right there. Nice, big, long, 18-foot, I believe, power awning. Goes over both doors and your nice kitchen area on the passenger side. Steps right up here to the bedroom, which is a king bed with adequate storage underneath there as well. Nice big overhead compartments there on both sides and above. On those nightstands right up at the head, you're going to have USB ports and power hookup. Light above the headboard, and you do have a nightshade there in front of that front cap window. Shades on both sides, windows that open on both sides. And then right here, you're going to have your mountable area for a TV. If you so choose, just make sure your mounting bracket's right over top of that plate there. This little guy is a sensor for your thermostat temperatures inside. And we might as well continue right into the living quarters here. So look back at the bedroom area there. Come around here to the side. You have your little booth dinette where the table drops down for extra sleep space when those cushions fold down over the table. Those posts just come out right there and get stored inside the seating area, but you do have storage in both those compartments. Pull down darkening shades on all four windows. This unit does have the theater seating in there. Manual parachute pulls here, right inside the by the armrest for your recliners. But then you do have USB ports on both sides and lights in your cup holders, heat and massage on those when you're hooked into your shoreline system. Outlets right nearby too. And then here you do have the main entrance to the bathroom. Then right below the door there you're going to have your gas CO2 monitor system and another thermostat right there. Little reader. Lots of storage, deep storage cabinets on both sides above the TV and then nice 50 inch TV lots of storage behind there as well but that TV will come out and adjust you have your in a flame fireplace also is a heater so it works great to heat up this little unit especially taking stress off your propane tanks and your Furion sound system zone 1 is your inside speakers zone 2 will be your outside zone system Taking a look at the back kitchen area here. Nice little layout right here in the corner, but lots of counter space. Lots of counters up above there. Your shades by code have to be metal, so that's what's right there by the back stove. Nice big stainless steel coverable sink there. Openable windows right there with shades. Heating vents down below. You do have your Greystone microwave and your Greystone low profile heat and hood range vent and your three burner stove, your Furion oven, and right below the oven is your fuse box breaker panel tucked out of the way. And right there is your RV gas electric fridge. If you have this set to auto, then if you're hooked up to electric and shoreline power or charging in your cable down the road to your truck, it will be on electric. If you take that connect off, then you'll be on propane. Nice little versatility there. And then right there by your main back passenger entrance, coming inside is your in command center. We will have a little walkthrough on that when you do come in. 
but that's something you can do from your phone as well. So congratulations, this is Lawrence from Lakeshore RV, and excited to see you guys in your new 26RKS Cougar Half Ton. Congratulations.